And we're back. Okay. I know there wasn't a ton of action in this episode, so people are probably going to complain about it coming back. They said that the second half of the season was going to have all this drama and action, and then it comes back and it's just like cat chasing its tail. But I thought it was great. The one thing that I think they shouldn't have shown yet was Daryl with his crossbow again. Now, we already saw that in the trailers leading up to last night's episode, and then again in the trailer afterwards. The one thing we need to keep in mind with trailers during season openers and mid-season openers is that the trailers that they show after the episode aren't necessarily what's going to happen in the next episode. It's kind of what, it's kind of like a what's to come throughout the rest of the season or throughout the season. So, yes, they showed Daryl with his crossbow again, but we don't know if he's going to have it next week. I mean, I hope he does, but we don't know. The beginning, I called it, they're going to kind of take power from Gregory. It didn't quite go as I thought. I thought they were going to go in there and Gregory was going to put up a fight, but they are more or less going to tell him that he's no longer in charge. The people were going to get behind Maggie. And it didn't quite go that way. Gregory put on his, his persona and... They go to leave, and when they leave, that's when we see, baby cat, stop, please. No. And when they go to leave, Enid kind of got some of the residents of the hilltop on Maggie's side. So Maggie's going to train them. Sasha's going to train them. I think Sa I think it was Sasha in the background that said, I will. Because they left. Because if I remember correctly, after the highway scene, Jesus and Sasha went back to Hilltop. So I'm pretty sure Sasha said she's going to train them. And I'm sure Maggie and Jesus will have a hand in it because Jesus is a ninja. Okay, so we leave there. We go to the kingdom. I thought the kingdom was going to cooperate a little bit more. The trailer at the end was eerily similar to when we very first got introduced to the kingdom. Where, I can't remember the character's name, but he pulls the gun on one of the saviors and the saviors pulls the gun on him. I don't know if that was a recap to kind of throw us off or if that was actually going to happen again because they obviously he doesn't like the saviors he's on rick's side he wants to attack the saviors he knows the kingdom has the numbers and the training the kingdom will get involved it's just a matter of when they have weapons that's where daryl's going to get his crossbow back it looked like a new badass crossbow it wasn't his older one that was beat up that Dwight took from him. And we haven't seen Dwight in a while either. I kind of thought we were going to see a little bit more of Negan. Not, I knew the episode wasn't going to surround Negan, but I thought we were going to kind of see Negan and see him taking it out on Dwight, but we didn't see any of that. We heard him going over the radio talking about Fat Joey. So now they know where Negan's compound is. They have dynamite. The saviors are going to instigate something now with the kingdom and that's how the kingdom's going to get involved. I I feel like it's going to be like a flashback situation. I don't remember if that guy, I can't remember his character name either, but this guy was at the original scene with the kingdom guys where the guns got pulled on the sabers. I don't remember or not, but I have a feeling he's going to be be there this time when this situation goes down. I think they're going to come to blows. I feel like the saviors that are there are going to some of them are going to get killed, and the rest are going to bail, and then they're going to go back and tell Negan, and that's how the saviors are going to get in with the kingdom, and the kingdom's going to lump in with Rick, and that's all going to get the ball rolling. Uh, Daryl gets a crossbow again. We saw that coming, which is awesome, because Daryl with his crossbow, I feel like he's going to get Dwight. He's not going to kill Dwight again, but he's going to get his vest back. I think at some point in the rest of this season, Daryl will get his vest back. That's, that's my major prediction. Daryl's going to get his vest back by the end of this season. Negan will not be dead. Negan will not be captured. I do not think the Saviors will be taken over at the end of this season. I think they're going to kind of end at that battle royale. But we're not going to see like the outcome. We're not going to see what happens. I think the, the war is about to happen, but we're not going to see it. They're going to hold that off till the next season. But my major prediction is Daryl's going to get his vest back. All right, Daryl's in hiding now at the kingdom. The Saviors came. It was weird because they, they show them trashing some of the houses and then we cut to... God, I just keep forgetting. It's been a long stretch and I can't remember Aaron's boyfriend's name. But Aaron and his boyfriend's house, their house is pristine. Nothing looks broken, but the other houses, things got trashed. 
you would think that they would have went through every single house. We heard on the radio, Negan said, comb over that place. So you'd think they would have trashed the entire town. I didn't touch on the very beginning of the episode yet because that's what leads into the end of the episode. So Gabriel. Now we saw at the last, the mid-season finale, how Gabriel tells Rosita that we're going to go to war and we need you. So we saw the turning point that we saw that he's on the side of Rick now. He's no longer the, the scared priest. He no longer thinks that they're they're in the wrong because leading up to this, he, he did kind of detested Rick and his small band of brothers because they were brutal. They were ruthless, but they did what they had to do to survive. And he still saw, he, he was still in civilization mode, even though... Gabriel locked the doors to his own church with the food store and let the people of his congregation die and turn into zombies. He did a terrible, terrible thing, but he was still in, these are people, this is civilization we can't kill. He, he knows now that there are people out there that want to kill them because they have a better life than them. They have better houses, they have food, they have protection, they have high walls. So... Gabriel's on board and then we see Gabriel stealing all the food and taking off and I even turned to Amy and said in the middle when they went in and the, the storage room was completely empty I said to Amy that's way too much food for one person to take he literally wiped out all of the food stores now I know the food storage was dwindling but you, you knew he didn't do it willingly he knew he didn't do it alone well, we saw. We didn't see exactly what character Mystery Boots was, but I think it's going to be the guy that we saw at the very end that had the mask on that was next to the girl that talked. I think that was who Mystery Boots is going to be. So I think we'll get a, a clop, a, a clop, a clop. We're going to get a clip of the shoes and then see his face. So we're going to we're going to be able to put two and two together. But I think the guy that had the had the mask on was Mystery Boots. We saw him leaving, but he didn't go. He probably went and got his friends. They snuck in, and. Gabriel's doing his rounds. He drops the Bible on purpose. I don't know how he knew about Boat, though. That's the only thing that's getting me. He, they must have said something. I'm sure they'll allude to it at some point. We'll, we'll get in on the hint because Aaron even said, how did he even know we were out there? So I don't remember if they told him about the boat. I don't think they did. So it was either... Gabriel giving them a clue or these people wanted them to come find them because I have a feeling they didn't kill Gabriel I think that they wanted Rick to come find them so maybe it was from this new group they ended with Rick smiling and he was smiling for good reason if you didn't catch the smile he's smiling because he saw the numbers he needed with the weapons he needed to defeat the saviors that's why Rick was smiling at the end. He wasn't captured. Rick, Rick Grimes is never captured. He knew he finally found what he's been looking for the entire episode. The numbers, the weapons, and the people with the drive to go against the people that he wants to kill. The saviors. Now we saw in the trailer that woman saying, we own your lives now. And Rick saying, you don't own our lives. The saviors own our lives. And then we see a zombie with spikes coming after Rick. I believe they put at least Rick, if not all of them, into this maze in the junkyard to see if he survives. More like, like a trial by fire. If he comes out on top, they'll I don't know if they'll accept him, but they'll at least listen to him and they won't kill him. So that's what's going to happen. They're going to put at least Rick in this, this maze with the zombies. Of course he's going to come out on top. And then we're probably going to find out more about this group. If the Saviors know about this group. I'm sure this group knows about the Saviors. They found Alexandria. Uh, I'm sure that they found the Hilltop at this point. And maybe the Kingdom. We don't, we don't know how large this group is. It was pretty large that we saw. So I think what's going to happen. This group's going to come together. We're going to have the Hilltop is going to completely turn and be under Maggie's control. We're going to have the Kingdom have their run-in with the Saviors, and they're going to get on board. And I don't know if we're going to have the Saviors themselves turn on Negan, because that's what happens in the books. 
Rick gets in with Dwight. And Dwight hates Negan. And Dwight kind of turns against him. And then that's kind of how they get the ultimate numbers in turn. And that's how they defeat the Saviors. And the Saviors kind of become allies up until a point. We're set up now. We're, we're going to hopefully next week we're going to have a really good episode with Rick in this maze fighting, killing zombies with armor, with spikes. Man, my mind's just racing. I know I'm missing a lot of details that I wanted to talk about. I really should write this stuff down, but I just get too involved in the show and I'm just, I just just want I'm watching it. I just want to sit there and watch it. I don't want to. I know if I make notes, it's going to, I'm going to miss something. If you like this video or any of my other videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can like by giving me a big thumbs up. You can subscribe by clicking that big red button down below or clicking on my floating head at the end of this video. Thank you.